Hey Facebook and YouTube, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris. Here behind me I have a 2003 Honda CRV EX. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you guys all the cool standard features of function. It's pretty much sweet, let's just kinda explore it. You guys owned this generation of the CRV. Feel free to drop your comments down below what you like, what you don't like. You know, also feel free to share a photo with you and your CRV on my Crazy Honda Chris Facebook page, all right? I'd like to hear a little bit about feedback, see what you guys have out there, okay? All right, so let's go explore and answer all the questions you have about this car that's on the lot here at Randy Cole Honda in Cedar Rapids. Iowa. Let's go get her done. All right, so here we are at the nice 2003 CRV EX. A little bit of history about this vehicle, quick. It has 161,000 miles, two previous owners, clean car facts, so no accidents, no damage, no salvage. It's a pretty good, solid, you know, first time SUV right here for someone, okay? So, a little bit of underneath the hood, you have a 2.4 engine with a four-speed automatic transmission. All right, so fuel economy, you're gonna have roughly about 22 for the city and 26 for the highway. Once again, that's gonna be a four-cylinder that's gonna be in there, okay? Kind of step right here along the side, you get those nice 15-inch tires. A little side mold in here to protect the doors. You got window visors right up there, looking pretty good. Roof rails and crossbars, you get a power moonroof. Rear tinted windows, looking pretty good there. A little blacked out handles, all right. I really love this generation. This generation of the CRVs is hard to come by. I have a handful of people who will be always asking me, Chris, when you come across it, let me know. Um, I mean, that's how well you know people look out for this, okay? Now you have the spare tire on the back. What I really love about this generation, because I'm a tall guy, well, I'd say about average, I'm about six foot, the hell the rear hatch opens, okay? It opens up this way, so I don't have to worry about it kind of coming up and falling down on my head on those windy days or anything from that point. It's just kind of nice. Now you got some additional cubby space right back here. A little net from there. Privacy blind, okay? So pretty much comes out like that. Now this whole second half actually will attach to the back of the headrest right over there, okay? And now the reason that's done that way because these seats do fold in a nice cool crazy way i'm going to show you guys that here in a second okay now this is once again is going to be loaded spring loaded so you can take this out if you need to down below you're going to have look at that a card table check that out seriously that's a table okay so you can pull this table out there's the legs and everything right on it all right so that's pretty cool. Got some additional storage down below if you need it. Now, like I said earlier, these seats fold in a cool, unique way. So as you come back here, here's how wide the door opens up. Wide enough, not as wide as the new ones are, but wide enough that you're still getting in and out. There's going to be cloth seats, of course, too. Okay. You're going to have, of course, right, the armrest with additional cup holders from that point. Now, we still have the original carpet match from the previous owner, some additional storage space on the back of the seats, okay? Now, right up here, pull this down, locks right in place. As you can hit towards the back, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, so bear with me, you got the string right here. Pull that, it springs forward, and I'll get my cord stuck. Look at that. Let's do it to the other side here quick so you guys can see that. I got it there we go folds just back to the you know on the back of the seats just like that so as life kind of happens I need that little more wiggle room challenge accepted throw it in there you know so I'm set that's a lot of space for how small this CRV is man I like it all right so this back window opens right up too as well so that's kind of a nice thing you can just drop stuff right in there I love that. You don't see that many, you know, that anymore on the kind of a newer SUVs. Some additional storage down below, that cubby space, you know about power windows from that point. Now to shut this, it's gonna be quick and easy. Locks right in place, you should fold it down. Then you wanna come right over here, pull this, brings it right back up for you, okay? Let's get the other side fixed for the next people. Now, look at these tail lights. How's just along the side. Sorry if my camera works a little bouncing around everywhere, guys. We're doing this one-handed. It's kind of cold out here. There we go. Now, I'm six foot, so it gives you an idea how much room I have in here. 
for myself. Um, the headroom, I actually have a good amount of headroom. I probably would recline this a little more uh, just in case we hit a couple bumps from that part, but I'm pretty comfortable in here. I can see I can easily fit four to five people back here, depending on, you know, on the kids I would take along with me. You know, Cameron, my four-year-old, he'll love it back here. <clears throat> All right, let's close that right up. Up front, you got a little release right here, like I was sharing with you guys earlier. Pops out right open, so you can have a nice little visual of that. All right, so you guys once again know about power windows, power locks. You got your window lock button there, locks. You got your mirror, power mirrors. All that's pretty easy stuff. It's going to be a manual seat, so you guys, you know, move them forward and back, you know, the good way. And then you have your hood release, your gas release, all right there for you, okay? Cruise control button. And then this is going to be for your power moonroof. Let's jump right and start it up. Now, the previous owner decided to put remote start onto this too as well, all right? So this particular one has remote start. So as you see right there, 161,000 miles. Let me turn this down a little bit. Wow, it's shooting out cold air. 161,000, no lights or anything on. Very nice. All right, so right over here, you got your cruise control button. As you select that, you got the green light to let you know it's on. This is gonna be for your power moonroof. So as you hit this button, you gotta hold it. And then the moonroof's gonna open, close, you know, tilt, all that good stuff. There it is. Then I just push this button back down and hold it, and it's gonna close right up. There we go. So all that's in working order. You got your headlights and everything over here on the other side. Wipers, all right here. You got your rear wiper from that point. Now as you pull this down, the more you pull it down, the faster they're gonna go. You can adjust this up and down. There you go, lock it back in place. Looks like you got your cruise control settings, everything right here to set, to you know increase, decrease, to cancel and all that. <laughs> nice little horn. You got your shifter right up here, okay? So we're in park. Pull this down, you got your reverse, neutral drive, you got one and two, all right there. Now your parking brake, it's gonna be this thing. As you pull this there, and there we go, you got your little parking. It's gonna let you know, hey, parking brakes on right there, nice bright red. Just pull this down and push it in. There we go. Just like that. Pretty nice. You got your overdrive, radio. You guys can probably figure this stuff out. It's all pretty easy, straightforward. You even got a place for your tapes, CDs, everything right there you set for your music. Hazard lights, adjustable vents right here. You also got them over there and one right over here next to the driver. Pull this down, nice little cubby space. I don't know, use your imagination. What do you even want to put in there? If you guys have a good idea what you'd be using this for as you have one of these generations of the CRVs, drop it down in the comment. Kind of let me know what you kind of hide in there. Now, we also got to have all of your climate control right here. Knobs, quick, easy, as you kind of play around with from that point. Place for the cup holder. 12 volt plug in. I got this nice little tray thing here. If I had to complain about anything, it's just this thing. It's a nice little clip, get that fixed. Nice little center console. What I love about this, if I get my cord unstuck, got a little squeeze bar right here. Pull that, comes out nice and flat. Look at that. Now I can put my purse, my jacket, whatever I'm gonna have right in there, it's gonna be out of the way. So that's going to be kind of nice. They got a nice little trays right up there above the glove box. Looking pretty good. Glove box, deep enough for me. Challenge accepted. I'm going to fill it up and, for, and forget about whatever I put in there. We all have our own armrests. Not bad of a 2003 CRV. All right, so there it is, guys. 
Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully it was somewhat fun for you guys to watch as it was fun for me to create. If you guys have any questions about this vehicle, feel free to contact me on my cell phone number. It's going to be 319-540-7307. If you guys want a little bit of bragging about your CRV or this generation too as well, go to my Facebook page. It's called Crazy Honda Chris. Share a photo, a little bit of a story about your CRV, a little bit of bragging if you want, all right? I can't wait to see those CRVs on there, all right? Well, thank you again for watching, guys. We'll stay in touch. Bye-bye.